Are you curious about the future of artificial intelligence? Ever wondered how machines understand and process our language? Everything we think about, we can think even if, if we can speak. Uh, and that takes place here. That's like, you know, where real intelligence is. I see the danger of this concentration of power through, uh, through proprietary AI systems. What if the AI you know is about to go extinct and its replacement learns like a baby? Meta's AI chief declares LLMs obsolete, betting on machines that see, predict and reason like humans. Why abandon today's AI for tomorrow's revolution? The seismic shift redefining intelligence starts here, and it's nothing like chatbots. Chapter 1. Why Meta's AI chief is ditching LLMs? Let's start with, why is Meta's AI chief, Yan LeCun, openly challenging the LLM gold rush? While the rest of Silicon Valley is racing to build ever larger language models, LeCun is waving a red flag. He's not just being a contrarian for the sake of it, he's raising fundamental issues about the direction of AI research. LeCun argues that LLMs, even with their impressive ability to generate text and mimic conversation, are fundamentally limited. They're token generators, as he bluntly put it at NVIDIA's GTC 2025, and their reliance on stringing together tokens makes them prone to compounding errors and superficial understanding. He's gone so far as to predict that LLMs will be obsolete within five years, warning that nobody in their right mind would use them anymore. This isn't just a technical critique, it's a call to rethink what intelligence means. LeCun points out that today's LLMs can't reason, plan, and have no awareness of the physical world. In his view, scaling up these models doesn't solve their core weaknesses. Chapter 2. The Missing Link in Modern AI Now let's break down a key concept at the heart of LeCun's argument, the difference between System 1 and System 2 thinking. Think of your driving on autopilot, barely conscious of each turn, that's System 1 fast, automatic, and intuitive. But when you're learning to drive, every action is deliberate and slow. That system too, effortful, logical, and reasoning based. With enough practice, system two tasks can become system one, but current AIs, they're stuck in system one. LLMs can mimic patterns and spit out plausible text, but they can't truly reason or solve new, complex problems the way humans can. LeCun says this is a massive limitation. LLMs don't have the machinery for abstract reasoning or planning. They're good at guessing the next word. That's why, if we want AI that can think, we need to move beyond the current LLM paradigm and build systems that can engage in System 2 type reasoning. This is the missing link in modern AI and it's exactly why LeCun believes a new approach is needed. Chapter 3. Why LLMs can't grasp the real world. Let's talk about languages. LLMs like GPT are absolute wizards with words. They can write poetry, answer your questions, and even crack a joke. But here's the secret. Language is just one facet of intelligence, arguably one of the simpler ones. The real world is messy, unpredictable, and full of nuance. LLMs are trained on mountains of text, 30 trillion tokens or more, but that's still just words. They have no real sense of what those words mean in the physical world. LeCun points out that a four-month-old infant, simply by observing its environment, processes vastly more information than the largest LLM ever trained. They don't have a grounding in sensory experience or physical intuition. So, while LLMs are great at language, they're nowhere near understanding the world the way we do. And if we're aiming for true artificial general intelligence, that's a deal breaker. Chapter 4. Beyond Tokens Here's where things get interesting. Humans and animals don't just use language because we use internal models of the world. Ever tried to mentally rotate a Rubik's Cube or plan a jump across a puddle? You're not narrating every move in your head. You're visualizing, predicting, and simulating outcomes. This kind of intelligence is fundamentally different from what LLMs do. They're stuck in token land, piecing together words without any connection to what those words represent in the real world. 
Lacoon's big idea is that we need AI that can build and use abstract, non-linguistic models, just like us. Instead of relying on endless text data, AI should learn from observing the world, forming internal representations that allow it to reason about cause and effect, physical interactions, and more. He advocates for new architecture, like the Joint Embedding Predictive Architecture, which learns by predicting the future state of the world, not just the next word in a sentence. This is the leap from parroting text to real reasoning shift from language models to world models. Chapter 5. Meta's new blueprint for smarter AI. So, what's Meta's answer to all this? Enter JEPA, or Joint Embedding Predictive Architecture. Think of JEPA as a new kind of AI that learns by predicting what happens next. Not just in language, but in the world. Instead of reconstructing every pixel of an image, JEPA focuses on predicting the essence of what's coming up. It learns abstract representations, connecting what it sees with what it expects. It's like how babies learn, by watching, experimenting, and slowly building up an intuitive sense of physics. This is a huge shift from the old, let's just make the model bigger mindset. JEPA is all about building understanding, not just memorizing data. Chapter 6. What's next for AI research? Let's zoom out for a second. The whole tech industry has been obsessed with LLMs, bigger, faster, more data. But Meta's pivot signals something bigger. Maybe the arms race for the largest language model is missing the point. If LLMs can't reason, can't understand, and can't learn from the real world, what's the end game? LeCun's move could spark a new era in AI research, one that's less about brute force and more about building models that actually get it. That means new architectures, new training methods, and a whole lot of rethinking what intelligence really means. It's not just about beating OpenAI or Google. It's about changing the rules of the game altogether. Chapter 8. Hardware, Hurdles, and the Road Ahead Let's get real. Building the next generation of AI isn't going to be easy. Even JEPA, for all its promise, demands a ton of computing power, especially when you're dealing with video data. And while it's more efficient than older methods, it's still a hardware-hungry beast. Lacoon's also pretty skeptical about some of the buzzier tech out there, like quantum and optical computing. He doesn't see any big breakthroughs coming from those fields anytime soon, at least not for general AI. So, the road ahead is tough, but the vision is clear. If we want AI that can reason, predict, and learn like humans, we need to rethink everything from the models we build to the hardware we use. The journey's just getting started, and it's going to be wild. Lacoon's vision isn't just a tech shift, it's a revolution in how we define intelligence. Forget chatbots, the future is AI that thinks. If you're as excited about AI's next chapter, hit like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.